Opening Keys with Lizard and Scorpion Part 1 of 2. Hi. On this video you'll see how to read keys of the fat light on drives. Any model 74, 83 V1, V2, and 9 can be read with the Scorpion and Lizard. The scorpion is similar to the old spear. It comes with a wire set that has two test probes at the end. This connector plugs into the scorpion in this way. Make sure that it's fully seated. It's important to note the grabber color is both black. Please look at the wires of the cable. There is a red one and a black one. Now I'll show you how to connect it to the drive. Ensure your drive is powered off. It's very important. You're going to take the first grabber with the black wire. Make sure the drive is totally turned off again. This is very important. Press on the grabber to extend the hook. You're going to extend the hook and attach it to the outer leg of the MOSFET, resting the shoulder of the hook against the edge of the drive. Take the flex ribbon on the side and put it over the top of the grabber. This will help to secure it in place and prevent it from accidentally popping off. Now take the grabber with the red wire and insert it under the big leg of the MOSFET. You want to ensure that you hook it on the inner edge as the opposite edge is actually a ground plane. If there's any conformal coating exposed, you could short the drive. Insert the tip then release the hook. Just kind of give it a nice little touch and ensure that the connection is steady. Take care, do not apply a lot of pressure or you'll bend the hook of the grabber. Now we have the scorpion ready to start. A good test to check if your connections are okay before we continue is to go ahead and power the drive. After you've turned on the drive, watch the LED on the Scorpion. It will begin to steadily illuminate until it starts at a at a bright red. It is important if you do not see the red LED turn off the drive immediately and double check your connections. In this case the connection is good so we'll just turn off the drive and leave it aside. Please ensure the Scorpion needle does not touch anything metal 
as it could cause a short. Now we've already plugged in our SATA cable to the lizard and the power cable is turned off on the drive and the scorpion is attached. Let's go ahead and plug the USB into the lizard and let it boot. Now you're set up. We'll go ahead and open the toolbox on the computer. If you've read through the manual in the beginning section you would have already selected your COM port. We'll go ahead and press the get connection button and ensure that the computer finds our lizard. You will see the serial and device details